Hello, dear Pisces, and welcome to your reading. I'm recording this March 2022. Well, around March 2022, a couple days away. But this reading is actually timeless. All my readings are timeless. So anytime you come to it is the right time for you. And you can also re-watch them and find different messages. I'm sure I know that I do. So we're going to get started right away. I would invite you to check your sun, moon, rising. Get a personalized reading if you feel like that would be more helpful. Or an astrology reading, a birth chart reading. All those things are in the link below to my website. And you can find out more about intuitive counseling and all those amazing things, all those amazing offerings and support systems that you could put in place as you ascend, as you integrate, as you awaken. It's happening. That's why there's so many people like doing healing work. It's like we all need to do it. We all need to awaken together, support each other. It's really real. Okay. We have the Four of Wands, the Ace of Cups, the Four of Cups, the World. The Two of Wands, the Hierophant, the Star, the Emperor, the Ten of Cups, and the Moon. I'm going to tune in here, Pisces. What is the message for you? You've been having these consistent spiritual awakening energies, but I feel like there's some kind of anxiety about, am I doing something right? You know, and I'm feeling this not just from the cards. I'm just picking up on maybe somebody that's watching or or maybe it's just like an overall energy of the the Pisces Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Scorpio, uh, Venus um, Mars, whatever is your placement that you're tuning into. There's something here that is saying that you might be feeling a little anxious about leaving something or someone behind, but you're not really leaving them behind. You're just creating a balance. You might be shifting in codependency. That's what I'm picking up on. Again, this is not coming necessarily just from the cards. We're going to get to that. I just feel like your guides are speaking really clearly to me right now. Some of you might need to hear this message about how, um, you know, you have been codependent with someone or something, or you've been attached to something or some someone maybe it's a sub maybe it could be a substance it could be your pet you know what i'm saying like it could be your pet it could be a, a habit it could be something it's just that you might need to balance things out right i actually just made a post on my patreon about balance so check that out um if you want to join on patreon and support and join this community uh you can join there for as low as two dollars a month so definitely check it out and everyone gets to see the posts um, there's one about balance that's like really pertains to that same exact energy of like it's not about cutting something out or leaving something behind it's about creating a balance where you've been reliant or something has been reliant or someone has been reliant on you and then there's some kind of balance being attained here that's what I'm, I'm picking up on and that it's difficult it's like you know if you have to like go somewhere and your pet is like because I have that with my cat like she's always like crying at the door you you all know if you watch my videos that she's always trying to come in or leave and I mean it's cat behavior but at the same time there needs to be like a boundary I need to create space for myself to do my work so it's it's along those lines kind of like it could be something really simple like that it could be something way bigger and way more intense to deal with but whatever it is it's pulling at your heartstrings and it's affecting your solar plexus but you're strengthening your solar plexus and you're gaining a sense of autonomy and and following your purpose no matter what because if this thing is something you've been putting or this person is something or a situation is something you've been putting a lot of attention towards then you know when you pull away it's not for no reason and it's not against that person or situation or thing it's really for your highest good and to align with your purpose okay so that's what this is this is dharma this is spiritual purpose okay your higher purpose so we have the two of wands here next to the hierophant some of you are are either starting like an online shop or do, doing work online or doing spiritual work online or you could be communicating with someone or you could be like wanting to communicate with somebody i see that you do have your back to somebody right you're looking out into the distance but the thing is that this person is really like they're in a high vibration it's okay to um you know take your time with what you need there but you are going to speak to this person again uh they are a spiritual person they might be a teacher or um they are affiliated with something spiritual they have a high ranking in a spiritual space but you are going to communicate with them you are going to connect to them and everything's going to happen exactly the way it needs to in divine timing the way that spirit wants it to happen okay and i feel like you're going to get a level up this emperor energy is giving me like you know level up and this is you this is you or you're gonna meet somebody right so if you're looking for somebody if you're looking for love if you're looking for a partner looks like you are gonna meet somebody you might meet them online or you might start talking to them on the phone or they might be at a distance from you 
you know it's somebody that you you make plans with online or on you know on the internet somehow and then you it's divinely guided your your guides are guiding you towards this i feel the hierophant is also a guide you know it could be a spirit guide it could be a spiritual teacher in the physical world but also a guide and and there was some kind of separation here i feel like with this star card in between the emperor and the two of wands there was some kind of separation there was some kind of um time to, to yourselves to work on yourself to it's it just be with your own energy and we have the ten of cups this is union this is community this is family this is connection in a balanced way this is everybody in alignment with what they need to do people aren't looking at each other here right this couple or this 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 connection here right they're not looking at each other they're looking up at this rainbow they're looking up at these cups they're saying that's what i'm that's what i want to do and then the other person's like yeah that's also what i want to do and that's what brings them together is that they are looking in the same direction they are emotionally fulfilled in by the same things or same spiritual energy right because this is also a spiritual card it's a, a card of emotions and psychic awareness okay so then we have the moon here. This is how deep this relationship goes. You could have a, a sexual connection to this person. You could have a very witchy connection to this person. You could have a very spiritual connection to this person, but it, it runs deep. Like you may bring up like really intense things in each other, right? Things that you not, you didn't necessarily want to bring up. Things that you didn't might not have wanted to see in the past. Hence you having your back to this person or your back to the situation. Your guides also wanted you to be more prepared, to be more in your power, to involve yourself with this kind of energy energy okay because this kind of energy is like really powerful and it is you know it's worth the wait and it's worth the inner work okay um because the the union itself the connection itself is really powerful some of you are moving or you want to move some of you want to like have a new life or a new experience or a new creative opportunity is coming in you could be leaving one job for another or one creative project for another and you're not doing it alone Okay, some of you are going to be partnering with somebody or other people. You've completed something. You you uh, you attained something that you really needed to attain to do this, and you needed to push through a really difficult time in your life, one where you had to like really face something in your heart, in your in your in your soul. It almost felt like it was like, oh my God, this is like I don't know if I'm doing the right thing. This could be all wrong. And even though this four of wands is a very like um you know it's like a number four. It's not really like an eight or a court card or a major arcana but it's giving me a lot of big energy like i almost feel like you could have even gotten sick over this thing like you could have you were like really painstakingly trying to do something and and now that thing is closing out you know like whatever that is you are stepping into a time of love and abundance like beauty psychic awareness um de emotional depth emotional maturity you're being offered emotions you're being you're you're feeling more attractive you're you're feeling you're attracting others you're bringing energy into your life you're getting the unions and connections that you really need now let me see here with this four of cups while i'm while i'm saying all that we have this four of cups energy which is traditionally like somebody just taking time to like really look at the ways things have been and not really feeling sure about taking these gifts from spirit so here we have the ace of cups coming in and you can see the ace of cups in this four fourth card right so if we go through with them right we say the ace of cups and then there's two of cups where it's two people facing each other with cups and then we have three of cups which is three people celebrating or some people see it as a third party or somebody interjecting in a relationship it could also be a card of polyamory you know if you um are in a non-monogamous style relationships like there's so many interpretations to the three of cups you know there's part there's an energy of it like partying you know drinking there's so many different interpretations so there's different these different stages from the ace to the four four it didn't get here for no reason something about a relationship or maybe cheating or betrayal or partying or a drunken night or something happened and it just affected you in a way where you don't feel like you want to really receive anymore you're just like not trusting this energy because you're like okay well i remember how things went in card two i got excited and then in court by card three shit's all messed up so why would i do this why would i re why would i take that i remember what happened in three and this is this person looking at three of cups being like yeah it was a party until it wasn't you know that's the vibe it was it was it was good until it wasn't i'm not gonna i, I don't know if i can deal with that but your guys are like mm, put an end to these negative thinking this negative ways of thinking it's not you anymore like you're not in that energy anymore you don't have to be defensive you don't have to worry that life and that timeline is over
that whole timeline is done like it's actually completely over and you're in a new life you're in a new energy funny 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 look what comes up funny 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 right so we have the now we have the ace and the two and the four we don't have the three of cups here yet or at all right we do have the ten of cups right so there is there is something that's happening that is happening in your favor. It's going to get here. You just have to hold this vision, not in your head, in your heart. Because if you hold it in your head, you might overlook things too. You don't want to go the other way. Let's be realistic here, right? If we're four of if we're doing four of cups, you might be pissed at yourself. You're not just angry at other people and how these things went. You're not just angry at spirit or whatever. You're angry at yourself too. You're angry like, oh, I'm not going to do that to myself again. I'm not going to be naive. But your guys are like, listen, this is not that same timeline. Everybody needed to go do what they got to do. And now you're going to come back to this space. Maybe it's the same person and a reconciliation is in order. Maybe this is a, just a conversation, just a loving conversation, just communication. It could be any one of those things, okay? We do have the magician and we have the hermit. I feel like some of you could be dealing with a Virgo. Some of you could be dealing with um, a Virgo-like person, meaning somebody who, you know, is very internal, an earth sign, spends a lot of time to themselves, is like very solemn or serious or hardworking. Um, maybe somebody also who's doing spiritual work because I feel like this person here is like a witch and then we have the magician who's also somebody who's doing spiritual work but I feel like this is also your energy this magician right and both of these cards are your energy all these cards are your energy too because when we're looking at these connections and these relationships they also are reflections of who you are inside and the relationship you have with different parts of you inside okay and that's really important to know if you if you're not connecting to your inner family and you're not doing that inner child work then you're not going to be in touch with all these different parts of you and you're going to see them reflected in other people and you're going to wonder why you're in the same cycles over and over again you're in those cycles because those are parts of you that are calling your attention okay you know that's a huge thing that i contribute in that contributes to like um the intuitive counseling that i do is inner family system work right it's like when we get into all of our different parts and we communicate with our different parts and then our different parts communicate with each other we find out there's this inner conversation happening with so much wisdom so much enlightenment in there and then when it has the chance to breathe and come into the light we transform just by being heard by ourselves with the with like within the light of spirit okay so definitely if you want to do parts work if you want to do inner family system work and you're, you can ask your therapist you can find a counselor you can reach out to me again the links are below now here with the hermit and the magician i feel like you are ready to embark on this new journey you are going to come to the realization that that's what's happening like you're not going to be stuck in that four of cups it's such a small energy in this reading the four of cups and the four of wands are saying that you know deep in your heart that these things needed to happen the way that they did you do. You do know because you're already at number four with these two cards. So you know that you put in energy, you put in attention, and the other person did too because a foundation needed to be built, okay? It's like a home was created and now you could return to that space. You and this other person are going to return to this other to this space, okay? Um, this could also be you returning to yourself. This could be you stopping stopping abandoning yourself. You could also be dealing with, a, with an Aries or a Taurus or a Taurus person or somebody who has Aries or Taurus in their chart or that kind of energy. People who believe in community and family but also are leaders, okay? And this could also be a reflection of who you are or other placements in your chart. We also have some Cancerian energy here, some Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo energy as well. I feel like I'm going to I'm going to have to end this video right now cuz um here's this 3 of cups for like Ah, oh, spirit, spirit, spirit. You are making Pisces face it. You're making Pisces face it. What is Pisces facing? All right, because I feel like with this Three of Cups, after everything that we was, was just said, spirit is like, you're going to face it when you get strong, when you get into your deep knowing, when you understand yourself, when you accept yourself and you accept the past as it was without trying to change it, without trying to fix it, without trying to blame yourself anymore, without trying to you know with holding on to that resentment that 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 lack of forgiveness that you have right now spirit guides angels ancestors please be kind and gentle with pisces and show me the messages of how pisces is going to navigate this three of cups how is pisces going to face what they need to face how is pisces going to face what they need to face 
these are reluctant cards i'll tell you that <laughs> they changed like they like flopped out they didn't pop out okay they're very reluctant cards we have the knight of wands the page of cups and the knight of cups Ooh. all right all right you were giving something to somebody. You were offering something to somebody. This other person was trying to go towards another person who's leaving. Okay? You were offering something to them and they were like, um, but I want to go here where this other person's going. This other person's going in some other direction. You know? And they could have easily just reci reciprocated, right? They could have reciprocated. You could be coming in and they could go towards you and it could be reciprocated. Now, spirit guides, angels, ancestors, why did why was this not reciprocated? This, is there any clarity that you can offer to Pisces at this time? Three of Wands. That person is owed something. That person was owed something. That person went in the direction that they needed to because that was what their guides told them to do. Okay? Their guides were like, go in this direction. And trust me, they also felt like, what the hell? <laughs> you know? It's because they had to go back to something, or you had to go back to something as well. Maybe this is also mirroring your experience, or you're the person that somebody was offering you something, and you walked away to go towards somebody else, right? It could be that too. It could be that you were walking, you were the person walking away. Anytime we're doing these readings here, they're general. So take what you need from it and put it in the, you know, put yourself in the right place of it. What resonates for you? Another thing I want to say about that, right, is that I've been noticing that sometimes when I'm not engaging with other people, a lot of times when I'm reading, like, when I'm seeing, like, love readings and stuff, and they're describing your partner, sometimes they're describing myself, and then instead of switching it, I realize that it's just, I'm dating myself, I'm with myself, I'm in a relationship with myself, you know, again, that inner work with the inner child and the inner family and the inner dynamics, you know, or your inner partner. If you're a twin flame or you're, you have a soulmate that you're connecting to inside your body, then you have that kind of dynamic. So you or this other person could have like walked away from a situation. They like really left it behind and then had to like pause whatever was going on to go back and like retrieve something or look at something or like face something that was really painful to look at, some thoughts, some feelings and have a really intense conversation with somebody. And that person did did do what they were going to do. They did what they had to do and they did what they were going to do or you did what you had to do or what you were going to do. It happened. They went towards that other person. They went towards what they needed to do and they, they trusted their guides. When people trust their guides, it is an opportunity. It is not a rejection. It is an opportunity. It is an opportunity for us to do the same. Okay, it is an opportunity for us to do the same. It is an opportunity for us to do the same. We have the high priestess here. You, again, the last, you read all the readings I've been doing for Pisces, right? They've all been about this elevation, this spiritual elevation. Okay, this could be a teacher or this could be you. This could be somebody that you look up to. This could be somebody that you're interested in. This could be just your energy. Um, but it's the energy of a psychic person, somebody who's rece receiving, receiving, <laughs> receiving divine transmission. Okay. Divine transmission. And it could be also that somebody who's like, like, I was going to say marketing divine transmission. That's interesting. Um, <laughs> is somebody also who's writing about that. Somebody who's like writing about it. Somebody who's writing about spiritual work. Somebody who is like in the process of doing something that is like, divinely guided we have this the boot on the moon it's like there are cycles of this happening it's happening in cycles it's, it's starting to you know be like something that happens in rotation so this person is in a cycle and they're in one that they were divinely guided to be a part of okay or this could be you you're in a cycle and in a cycle that you are divinely guided to be a part of i do feel like you are about to be in a relationship or going to be in a relationship if that's what you want and that's what you're working towards there is somebody who is a really good match for you right i think this emperor even though the emperor and the empress are like you know a pair i feel like this pair is really interesting here one person might be a little bit more extroverted than the other person like if this is you then you're more introverted this is the other person they're more introverted and you're more extroverted the emperor is aries energy is very outgoing very sure of themselves and the high priestess is also sure of themselves they just don't 
communicate it to the world that way. They have an internal energy. They know their worth. They know how powerful they are. And they're just walking in that power. They don't have to say it to anybody. People just know by being around them long enough. You got to be around the a high priestess long enough to know what you're seeing there. You might not know if you're not in that world. If you don't know about that kind of stuff, then you're not going to understand it. You're going to just think that this person is a mess. You know, or you're going to be like, they're quiet or they're in, too introverted or whatever. Instead, they're actually just like receiving psychic energy, right? So we have the Two of Swords, the Ace of Swords, and the Queen of Swords. A lot of sword energy suddenly, okay? Alongside this um, Knight of Swords here too. So some of you are having a really intense conversation with somebody who might have wanted to be like coming strong but then they feel indecisive like there's somebody who really wants to talk to you they really want to get something off their chest they have been waiting to talk to you they've been waiting to communicate with you but when they come in they face a lot of indecision it's like the closer they get to you the more they feel at a crossroads the more they feel disconnected from that same fiery energy that they were coming in with it's like they think about it they're like i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do this and then it's like oh yeah i don't know you know and this could also be you maybe you're pushing them away with that indecisive energy maybe you haven't made up your mind that you want to hear from this person you haven't made up your mind that you want them to come towards you and tell you everything and be honest with you maybe it's too much for you to handle internally you could be in your head being like yeah i want them to do that but then in your heart you haven't really opened up because this is a lot of mental energy with the queen of sword all this sword so many swords like you could be just like in a negative place about it also with this card the ten of swords which in the deck there's two of them and one of them is called everything is fine <laughs> um so there's something here you also are feeling in your power in some ways too there's sometimes some days some situations where you feel like i know exactly what i want to say and this is how i'm going to say it and you have crafted it in your waiting okay and i do think if you have a conversation when and if you have this conversation because i do think it's going to happen you're going to be really in alignment with your truth you're going to just say what you need to say you're going to express yourself exactly how you need to express yourself and this person is going to come in maybe looking a little indecisive or maybe you're going to come in looking a little indecisive but know that you really know don't let them and don't let other people's indecisiveness sway you from what you know is true okay let's see if there's anything else that is that spirit wants to show you about this conversation or this upcoming energy here pisces <sighs> so we have the judgment the fool and the lovers some things are just not okay for you anymore you're just like you have different standards you're just gonna feel it like it's like you're just gonna know from the communication what you need like you're just gonna feel it you're gonna hear it you're gonna know it you're gonna experience it and you're gonna be like yeah i know exactly what i need to do i need to i know exactly what i need to do that's what i'm gonna say because for everybody what you need to do is different okay everybody i see different different um energies need to do different things Okay, I can name some of the differences that I see here, but I do feel like for some of you, it's complete surrender. You're like, God, it's in God's hands and you're just walking with that. You're just, you're down for whatever. Others of you are like, I manifested this. I'm ready for it. Others of you are like, it's my way or the highway. <laughs> Don't come in here with your half ass shit. And some of you are like, wow, like compromise and communication because this is spiritually guided. And all of you, I feel like every Pisces watching is, is going through a process of letting go of the ways that you were hurt in relationships. Like there is a collective sweeping energy. You will be, I feel like you will even look different. Like, your body will change, okay? Like, if you saw your body taking on the stress of, a, of relationships and how you would look after being in a relationship for a while that was, like, sucking out your soul, like, you will change. Like, that is going to go. You're about to be, like, blessed and protected. You are blessed and protected, but you're going to see the changes in your body. Like, you're going to see the changes in your hair, in your face, in your in your figure like something is going on here you know like you're literally gonna be in a different energy 
completely and that's where well, that's where love really flourishes is you being in your truth and you're not gonna let that go again like i know for some of you you're hurt and you're like why would i put myself through stuff that like i've already done and i've seen how i come out of that and it's just not like that anymore like you're about to really transform like your body mind soul spirit everything you're just transforming and that is what's bringing in that's what's a really attracting this loving relationship so it's not even about this person's conversation or whatever is going on there um, you know, let's see if there's any last messages about this person that you are going to connect with or the person that you're going to attract in. And then we'll do an angel, um, ascended teacher card. Ooh, God, the devil really? And strength and the chariot. All right. All major arcana. So we have Leo energy, cancer energy, Capricorn energy. I had to take a moment for this because... This is interesting. There's deep fear here. There's like, it's about overcoming fear. Mo doing it anyway, even when you're afraid. Like, don't even look back. Just do it anyway, even when you're afraid. And there's also great strength that comes from overcoming fear. That's what I'm feeling. It's like your bravery and strength and force, it moves the world around you in some ways. Like, I know that sounds like really intense, like almost like, like godly energy but it is it's very godly energy like you have been going through something spiritual right and for any of you who are watching this being like i don't feel any of that you may not have started that process yet so you'll have to go back to the old videos and watch it when you're going through that but this energy is like this devil energy is 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 has fear written all over it. it has fear 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 tons and tons of fear and I see that people are going to go through it no matter what. It's not just you. I feel like you're you're like the energy that you have is also the energy that this other person has. And it's like, I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna freaking do it. It's just now or it's just now or never. I'm just gonna do it. I also see that some of you are working with Durga. That's coming up here. So some of you might be watching that are watching this might be Shaktas as well. And working with Durga, working with Shakti. Some of you are working with the moon, moon energy. Some of you are embracing your shadow and working with your shadow energy and integrating your shadow. And that's what's helping you overcome this fear. It's like the stuff that you were afraid of is literally something like all. Oh, my God. I'm feeling this so strong suddenly. But it's like. Those things that you're so afraid of, they're inside of you. You know, like, oh, I'm afraid of being cheated on. Well, I'm afraid I'm going to cheat on other people. Or I actually need to be polyamorous instead of monogamous. Or I need to have open relationships. Or, like, whatever it is. There's something in there. Or you just need to acknowledge that you can trust yourself to be committed. Like, there's something here where it's like everything that you fear is inside of you. That's why you're feeling so tortured by it. Because you're experiencing it inside your own body. So you need to go in and look at that. And I don't feel like it's going to be like this long dark night of the soul. It's literally book and by strength in the chariot. This is movement. This is bravery. This is courage. This is things happening. This is not getting stuck here. This doesn't, this, this energy is like once it, if the devil moves forward with the chariot, it's going to transform into the chariot. If it moves backwards, is gonna it's gonna transform into the strength card so it, no matter which way this energy goes it is gonna filter itself through something positive so you have nothing i'm not gonna say you have nothing to worry about because life continues to happen and we learn how to live it we learn how to cope we learn how to manage we learn how to enjoy we learn how to celebrate and that's what it is okay so our last card and this is a long reading <laughs> i you know Spirit just wanted me to really put it all out there for you, Pisces, okay? So this is your Ascended Teacher Oracle card. This card has been popping out so much. See the other person's point of view. Okay. 
Okay, let's see. I, I, I always, this is a Tibetan um, god and I'm, I'm nervous I'm going to mess it up. But here we go. Avalokiteshvara. That's the closest I'm going to get to saying that right. So um, you have strong emotions about this situation and you may feel upset, misunderstood, or used. This card comes to you as a pathway to peace by asking you to consider other others points of view you don't need to agree with other individuals you're simply asked to understand their motivations and have compassion for their feelings this process can positively shift the energy of power struggles much like letting go of a rope during a tug of war as you see the other person's point of view you open the door for a creative solution to enter <laughs> oh my mom says when you sneeze this means the thing that you're saying is true so there we go. As you see the other person's point of view, you open the door for creative solutions to enter. Let go of defensiveness in your relationships. Look past the surface personality and see the divine within others. P forgive past hurts and start anew. See yourself through the eyes of a, an, any person you desire to meet or know. That's amazing. Yes. Thank you, Pisces. Please like and subscribe and join in this community and support this community. Join on Patreon, get a reading, whatever feels right to you. And I will see you again in your next reading. Take care.